Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark the Shave Stop and GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with a video review of the Merker Progress Adjustable Razor. Now this is a really nice, well-built razor. It has a nice heft and weight to it. It has some really nice chroming and of course it's adjustable. Now if you saw my previous unboxing video, you'll know that I bought this online uh, used from a previous owner for $38 and then I went ahead and sanitized it thoroughly in barbicide. I've already used it several times and it's almost, it's like brand new. It really is a terrific razor and I like the um, the ability to adjust the blade gap so that you control you can control how mild or aggressive the shave is. So let's just give you a look how it stacks up against some of the other razors I have. You can't really compare the performance of an adjustable to standard safety razors but let's just take a look and see how big it is size-wise uh, in relation to some of my other safety razors. Here it is next to my Vikings Blade Chieftain and you can see it's uh, Chieftain is a little bit taller and it's about same thickness and handle about I give a slight edge to this uh, Merker Progress and the Merker Progress is just slightly heavier and of course um, it's going to be heavier because it has a little more elaborate design to the razor head to carry out the adjustability of it. Let's take a look at it next to another Merker Progress, the Merker HD34C. Now you can immediately see that the HD34C is a little bit shorter and it's not as heavy. Now I've always rated the Merker HD34C here on the right as a very, very mild razor. And um, uh, this Progress gives you anywhere from a mild to a very aggressive shave. So if you're thinking about a Merker razor, you might want to go with the Progress because of the adjustability quality of it. Here it is against uh, my late father's Gillette uh, Super Speed from 1957, 1958, somewhere in there. And you can see it's about the same size. Of course, the Super Speed is, uh, has a thinner handle to it, and uh, it is a bit lighter. Than, than the Merker. But that's what it is size-wise against a very, very standard safety razor. Now, the Merker Progress is a two-piece safety razor. You open it up by turning the bottom knob here counterclockwise, and of course, the, the, head, the head comes off of the body of this thing and of course the base plate is attached very very similar to the Merker HD34C same way as the 34C and in the same way it's technically a three-piece razor in that it has this inner barrel with a little compression clip and this is where the threaded part of this shaft threads into it. Now loading a blade is very, very, very easy with the Merker Progress. All you have to make sure of is that the cap and the base plate line up. And you do that by making sure that the notch in the cap plate, as you can see there, lines up with the triangle that's on the base plate. And that's it. So let's go ahead and load a blade. You unscrew the handle, take a razor blade, Load it into the cap, making sure again which side the notch is on. Make sure that the triangle side matches up and tighten down. Now, on one side of the handle there is a little dot right there. As you can see, that little dot right there, that's where you'll be calibrating your adjustments. So all you do is tighten down until you can't tighten anymore. Right there. Now you can calibrate upward. There's one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and so on, just by lining those numbers and hash marks with that little dot. I like to start at number two. And with number two, I'll do a shaving pass, complete shaving pass, and then I'll re-lather, and then I'll turn this up a notch.
to two and a half. And then I'll do another shaving pass. And then I'll go ahead and relather and turn it up to number three and finish my shave. And I get a remarkably wonderful, close, comfortable, smooth shave. I found that if I start at two and a half and I finish at about three and a half, that's a little too much. But that's the beauty of this razor in that you can gauge the adjustability of it. And you can tailor it to your skin type which is what's really nice about it. So I really like this razor. Now, a lot of people have a problem with this white knob here. Matter of fact, they even replaced the white knob with a chrome knob. Um, I don't have any problem with that aesthetically. I thought at first I did, but then someone pointed out that a lot of German designs have the chrome and the, the plastic, and uh, I think that's fine. But uh, it really is a great razor. Now, they go anywhere from about $55 to $60, $65 on Amazon, depending on how many razor blades you get with them. And also, if you're buying a long-handled version of this, this is the standard handle size version of it. They do make a long-handled version of it, and that's a little more pricey. But if you can find one new or slightly used, I recommend you getting one. This is an absolutely marvelous shave. And again, it's unlike the standard safety razors that are out there. I love my Vikings Blade Chieftain and Godfather and some of the other razors that I have, but this razor here is unlike any of them because of its adjustability. But if you're gonna buy an adjustable, I really highly recommend this one. All right, that's it. I um, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please subscribe. Uh, let me know, comment below, check out my blog georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, cartoons, and other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.